Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. 2022 was another transformational year on the International Space Station. We broke some records, welcomed some new space travelers, and took a major step at expanding our space fleet, which is never not gonna be cool to say. Touchdown. Mark van der Heij and Piotr Dubrov back home one year after leaving the planet. NASA's Mark van der Heij broke the record for the longest single space flight in history by an American when he came home in March of this year. Mark and cosmonaut Pyotr Dubrov spent an astonishing 355 days in space, giving researchers on Earth the chance to observe the effects of living and working in space for a really long time. We have more than 20 years worth of data on dozens of humans living in microgravity for six months at a time, but only a handful of data points for periods longer than that. With round trip missions to Mars expected to last years, the space station continues to serve as a vital proving ground to make sure that we'll be ready to take care of those first explorers. This spring also had some historical firsts, including the first ever private astronaut mission with AX-1. Axiom's first space flight brought a crew of four aboard SpaceX's Dragon to spend 16 days living on the station, conducting research and outreach, and this was another major step in NASA's role to kickstart an economy in low Earth orbit, with new infrastructure and services offered by private industry to open up space to more and more people. And something I got hyped for personally, Boeing's Starliner made its first successful trip to the station and back again. The Orbital Flight Test 2 mission was an end-to-end -end test of Starliner, providing critical data on operating this brand new spacecraft in outer space. Everything we learned from it, from launch to docking to landing, will help make the next flight, which will carry our astronauts on board for the very first time, as safe and successful as possible. And those highlights happened just in the first half of this year. If you know Space Station, you know the work didn't stop and is actually still going as we look to close out the year. Throughout, we saw five crewed launches fly to the space station, split between the SpaceX Dragon and the Russian Soyuz. Ten NASA astronauts, eight Roscosmos cosmonauts, two ESA, one JAXA, four private astronauts, and a partridge in the pear tree called the station home this year. Our expedition crews are on track to perform 14 spacewalks this year. And a lot of that work was installing upgraded solar arrays to continue generating electricity for the station for years to come and doing some major reconfiguration on the Russian segment. They also welcomed five cargo vehicles from Russia, Northrop Grumman, and SpaceX with commercial resupply missions enabling more than 100 new U.S. science investigations and technology demonstrations, continuing to improve on our capabilities for the Artemis missions to our moon and directly benefiting life back on Earth. And with Artemis 1 successfully complete, the work we're doing on station to develop the capabilities needed for those future missions to address everything from food and water supply to materials like cement needed for surface infrastructure to refining medical treatments for remote patients continues to make sure we're ready when human boots are leaving trails in lunar regolith once more. Whew, take a breath. You might think everything would start to feel routine after more than two decades, but 2023 will be anything but. We'll hit the ground running in January with more spacewalks continuing to prepare for the final set of new solar arrays and continued outfitting on the Russian segment. We're gonna be working with Boeing for the first flight when two NASA astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, put Starliner through the paces in its first crewed launch. After that, it'll be in line to join SpaceX's Dragon in regular flights of crew to the space station, with Dragon set to do just that in February when we launch Crew 6 and welcome Crew 5 home, and then later down the road when we have the second private astronaut mission, AX-2, taking flight. We'll have plenty of cargo missions, including the first planned flight of Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, the newest entrant in our cargo fleet. And amidst all of that, the usual slate of research benefiting you back on Earth 
and putting new technologies through the ringer to support our deep space exploration of the moon and Mars. That will do it for us in 2022. Thanks to everyone around the world that makes the work done on the space station possible, you just closed out another year packed from start to finish. And as always, thanks to you, the viewer, for watching. Keep tuning in as we continue what is shaping up to be one of the most incredible decades in human spaceflight. We'll see you next year.